my superstars, it is time for math, and we are on lesson 2-3. We are going to be talking about one and two fewer. The term one fewer and two fewer can be used when comparing two groups of objects. Now, we are going to use one fewer and two fewer to solve this problem. All right, let's look down here. Let's look over here at these cubes. Your teacher puts four paint brushes on the table. So these cubes here are going to represent paint brushes. Then, she's going to put five jars of paint. So these cubes are representing jars of paint. How can we tell which group has one fewer object? All right, so we have four paintbrushes, right? And we have five yellow cubes that are representing paint. So which group of cubes shows one fewer? Can you tell just by looking? Now, if you can't, remember, you can compare them one to one. That way you know if you have one paintbrush, one jar of paint, which one has one fewer? Fewer means less. So which one has one fewer? Right here, the paint brushes. One fewer paintbrush than paint. Okay, let's do another problem now. So, let's say your teacher puts two paintbrushes now on the table. So these two are representing paintbrushes. And then she puts four jars of paint on the table. So these red cubes are representing jars of paint. Okay, so we have two blue paintbrushes and we have four red jars of paint. Now, how can we find out which one has two fewer? Remember, we're talking about one and two fewer. So how are we going to know which one has two fewer? We are going to compare them one to one. One paintbrush, one jar of paint, one paintbrush, one jar of paint. Which one has two fewer, the paintbrushes or the jars of paint? Remember, the blue is the paintbrushes and the red is the jars of paint. The one that has two fewer are the paintbrushes, correct? Because we have two left over here. So we have two less paintbrushes than jars of paint. All right, good job. Let's move on to this easel. Okay. So now your teacher decides to just put one paintbrush on the table. But she says, I'm going to put two jars of paint. All right. Which one has one fewer? Remember, fewer means less. So if we look here, we have one paintbrush and one jar of paint. 
which shows one fewer. We have one fewer paintbrush because we only have one. So we have one less. We have one more jar of paint, but one fewer paintbrush. So the paintbrushes are one fewer. Let's look at the next problem here. Okay, so your teacher now decides to put five paintbrushes on the table. That's two, three, four, and five. Five paintbrushes. And now she's going to put three bottles of paint. So three bottles of paint on the table. Okay. Which group is showing two fewer? Remember what fewer means. Fewer means less. So which group is showing two fewer? Is it the paintbrushes or the, or the paint? The paint is the blue and the paintbrushes is the pink. So which group is showing two fewer? We can look at each one and say, we have one paintbrush, one paint, another paintbrush, another paint, Another paintbrush, another paint. Now, which is showing two fewer? The paint. Good job. Because we have two more up here. We have two more paintbrushes, but two fewer paint bottles. All right, good job, superstars. Let's turn our page. Okay, let's look over here at the first square. How many cubes do you see? All right, we have four cubes, right? All right, so this is, these cubes belong to Salman, and he wants to make rows of cubes. So he starts with a row of four cubes. All right, let's look over here. Said man is holding another row of cubes. How many cubes are in this row? Three cubes. So how many fewer cubes are in the row said man is holding? So there's this set of cubes and the set of cubes that Salman is holding. So how many fewer cubes are in the row that Salman is holding? All right, remember, we can compare them by drawing a line one to one, right? All right, which row has one fewer cube? Salman's does. There's one fewer cube over here right? Because we are missing a cube right here. So Salman's cube has one fewer cube. Good job. All right, let's look over here. All right, Salman wants to make other rows of cubes. How many cubes are in this row? One, two, Three. There's three cubes. All right, let's look over here. So Salman is holding another row of cubes right here. So he's holding another row of cubes. How many cubes are in this row? One cube. Which row has two fewer cubes? 
said Nan's row, right? This row has two fewer cubes. So how did you know? Well, what would you do to find out which has fewer? You would count or you would match up each cube one to one. So you would match up each cube one to one and he has two fewer. One, two. So he has two less than this row. All right. Let's go over here. Oops, let's clear that. Let's clear the, that. And let's look down here. Okay. Let's look at number one right here. So over here, you are going to color in the cars to show one fewer. So we have piggy banks here. One, two, three, four. We have four piggy banks. We're going to color the cars to show one fewer. So remember how we find out one fewer. We're going to color in one fewer and then we're going to match it one to one. So we're gonna color this in. That's one. Here's two. And here's three. So let's match it up and see if we made one fewer in this row. Okay, we're going to match it one to one. One to one, one to one. So we didn't color the last car because we want to show one fewer. And that's what we did because we have one here and we don't have one here. We didn't color it in. So this shows one fewer. Okay, let's do the next problem. We're at number two. All right. We have these bows. One, two, three, four. Now what we're going to do is we are going to color in to show two fewer. So we're going to color in these horns, these party horns, to show two fewer than the bows. So let's color it. One, two. Is that two fewer? We can check by counting and comparing it one to one. That looks like it's two fewer because we have four here, right? And we have two more, which means two fewer. We did not color those in. So this is two fewer than the bows. There's only two here, and we have four up here. One, two, so that means two fewer. All right, let's go to number three. All right, now we're going to draw a group with one fewer cracker. So we have one, two, three crackers, but we're going to draw a group that has one fewer cracker. Fewer means less. So if we have three crackers, what? how many are we going to have to draw to show one fewer? One, two. How, how can we check to see if that's one fewer? We can count and we can compare it one to one. There's one cracker, one cracker, one cracker, one cracker, and we don't have another cracker, but we have three here. So that is one fewer cracker in this row. All right, let's do the last problem, number four. Now we're going to draw a group with two fewer crackers. Let's count them. 
one, two, three. How are we going to show a group with two fewer? Remember, two fewer means two less. All right, let's draw a cracker here. Is that showing two fewer? Let's count and compare. One to one. Oh, this has two crackers up here, but we don't have two crackers down here. So this shows two fewer crackers. All right, superstars. Good job. Until next time. I will see you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.